Um, I want to talk a little bit here about the Maria uh, Theresa Tyler um, called Ojis in Somali. Um, it's basically some kind of a coin that has uh, Maria uh, uh, Theresa of Austria. And it is used to actually wear off some of the uh, parasites like mammy. So what they will do is uh, once the, the person undergoes an exorcism, they will give that person a uh, coin and then that person as long as that person has that coin on um, um, themselves the parasite will not attack um so i don't know what's the uh, the meaning of it but it's just a, it looked like some kind of a coin that was actually used um, in the region in the horn but it was also used heavily in the middle east now, what's the meaning of the coin and why not basically do the same thing for the British? And, but apparently it was used and still used in the Middle East. Uh, and they, they use these coins to actually, um, you know, as a protection against the parasites. Before, they used to use what they called uh, qardas, which were some kind of uh, little squares where they would put the, um, the Middle Eastern, uh, basically, a uh, Quran texts in some of them would use uh you know also some kind of a color uh where they actually would also like put that on uh especially the women and children and um the the the, the, the qardas or hirsi is also the same thing uh, but um so these square i think in, in the, some part of the middle east they're called uh tawiz, something like that some of them also use some kind of a rings. Uh, if you look at the, all the shakes in the videos, you watch them. Many of these uh, motherfuckers are basically wearing some kind of a, a ring, like Solomon ring, to either wear these parasites off or protect themselves from these parasites when they are actually spreading them on other people in the mosques and in these uh, areas where they actually they go basically in crowds. But this... Uh, Ochis is different. This Ochis is some kind of a coin that you carry. And this woman, uh, this 18th century something, a woman, um, it's actually, uh, there's an entity in some of these uh, Somalians forums obsessed with these uh, 18th century people. I think she was called Basra. They say she was, uh, she's been on these forums for 20 some odd years. And uh, basically, still basically rooms in these forums and only posts pictures with uh, these um, Victorian era people. Now, you have to understand when these parasites attacked me, that woman and some other uh, people had some kind of a purview to what these parasites were doing. Many of the sheikhs who actually know about these parasites say they actually can spread these parasites through uh, electronic means. And once they actually, uh, or, you know, the, in any case, once they spread these parasites, they're able to actually tune in and talk to these parasites. The woman, uh, I think, uh, what was called? It's called I think she's, she's called Maya Malyun. Uh, she's the one who talks about this office. Um, She's the one who says uh, they can actually, uh, I think there's a video where she's posting, where she posts about these people uh, sending her the parasite uh, from Kenya. I'm going to tr probably translate that video if I can. And so they were sending her these parasites from Kenya and she was living in Minnesota. And she says this city is also basically full of these witches and warlocks and these hybrids who also spread these parasites. And I posted a lot, like a lot of videos about that. And so they had some kind of a purview with these parasites. I, I kid you not, they were like following these parasites like some kind of... Uh, basically like like some kind of a basically uh i would say a surveillance basically an agent type of thing when you see these you know these agents who surveil these traffic you know the traffic cameras and all that that you see in the uk i guarantee you it was like they were following what these parasites were doing step by step listen i don't know how this thing works but these people are spread all over the internet and what they do is uh, whenever they infect a person, it's like this, this, it's like what they tell you about these uh, alien parasites, like as if they're testing some kind of a parasite or a virus on people and basically monitoring how these parasites basically either uh, evolve that person or feed on that person or eat that person or, or consume that person. I kid you not. That's what it felt like. 
And so some of these people, basically, in order to actually remove it, you have to go apparently to some of their, uh, basically, uh, clan members. And then they will basically talk. They're not going to, from what I hear, is like they're not going to remove this as like some kind of a parasitic vampire. I don't know if, if it's related to these. Um, this, this woman is some kind of Austrian and in that area, they said, um, she actually, um, stopped witchcraft, but, in, but instead giving rise to vampires. And like I talked in the previous video, these, uh, fucking parasites feed and they need blood. And so, um, I don't know if they actually, um, they, they actually can't stop, but it looks like they basically transfer the parasite to someone else. And then lift it from you for uh, for a time period, but you have to feed them for that time period. But then they will come back. And so you have these hybrids or these parasitic people all over the internet, and it spread uh, basically uh, uh, in in the U.S. and the feeding. And they say that this orchis apparently is some kind of a protection. But like the woman talks about, she says. Um, yeah, I will, I will post her videos actually, but they actually can send these parasites from Kenya and every other places and then they will feed on the people. And then she's like telling them, stop sending me these parasites. And then she has, she has this office, but even with that office, they were sending her these parasites. It's crazy shit.